Greetings, everyone, and welcome to my next installment of the worst games on the Atari 2600 slash VCS. This time I'll be covering games on my list numbers 20 through 16. And as I said before, most of these games are in no particular order. Well, until you get to the top 5, both might be in order. But, well, enjoy looking at some of these really bad games. Here's a really bad one, Maze Craze. I mean, look at this very dull maze. And the graphics are nothing to speak of. The guy, that guy is barely, can barely be seen as a human figure. And these, what are these? Dots are supposed to be the things I'm, I'm trying to avoid. It's fun at first, but after a while, it grows very repetitive. See, I already solved the maze once. Now, again. Ah, I shouldn't. Have, I shouldn't have been there. Now to drive this maze. Get in, of course, I go all the way around again, avoid these guys. And avoid these little blocks. Real fun! I'm done with this one. Another fun space adventure, S Starship. An early attempt at a first-person shooter in space. That really falls flat. Mostly because it's impossible to control a stupid crosshair. I mean, really. Another space game made during the Star Wars craze. Because this game was published in 1977. Let's see if I can get these guys. Or not. This crosshair is almost impossible to control. And there's really no fun factor to this game even when you do have control. I mean, it's not long before you storm out enemies that move faster you can move the cro than the crosshair can be moved. What an awful game. 3D Tic Tac Toe. This is another really awful game. I mean, it's basically tic tac toe across four across these four different boards. Well, the idea was good. It's not the greatest playing game. I mean, it's tic tac toe of all games, one of which is impossible to win. And you're supposed to keep a close eye on this guy. You're supposed to line these things up exactly on what's supposed to be 3D. It's more of a, a more of a perspective board than anything.
Of course. How are you supposed to see that? Okay, uh, round two. Oh, and I forgot to mention, unlike the original tic-tac-toe, in this one you're supposed to get four in a row, not three. Now, of course, how are you supposed to see that across four boards? And if you play this game long enough, you're going to get quite a headache. Now, imagine if they showed this in war games instead of the original tic-tac-toe. I'm done. There's no way that you could you could you can really keep an eye on all of these at one time. I mean this is a very dull game. On to the next one. Burger time. This is one of my favorite games of all time. Or at least the other versions. Not this really bad Atari version. I mean, look at those things. They're supposed to be the, um, hot dogs and eggs and the other guys you face over the course of the game. The chef barely looks like a chef. All parts of the burger look alike until they're probably for four. Another really bad, bad port on the Atari 2600. I mean, seriously, couldn't they have made a. It would have killed them to make a quality version. I mean, I've played several versions of this game and it's one of my favorites, but these visuals are pretty hideous. And these guys move slow as hell. And so they can sue you. And really, not a very faithful adaption of the original game of the original game. Oh, oh lord, in the second level. Let's see how long it lasts in this version without getting bored to death. Uh, this isn't. This version's no fun. I mean, really. I don't know why they bothered making this version. I mean, it would have been that would have been that hard to put, give this game better visuals. I mean, the only guy you can really identify is the hot dog. 
just off this an awful version of a, of a really good game. Raiders of the Lost Ark. This is the next game this is the next game on my list. And coincidentally, like other terrible games like E.T., this was also released in nineteen eighty two. Now let's look at this abomination. The main problem with this game is that you need two controllers to get this game to work. That's right, two. One to select the items and one to use them. Who, who thought that was a good idea? Same thing with the snakes that blend in the parts of the screen. I mean, really, this proves that games off a of movie should never be. Oh, good, I found an entrance to something. Who knows what I found here? Ah, damn it, damn it, damn it. See, already dead. Now let's try again. As you can see, the controls pretty much suck because using two different yeah, using two joysticks at the same damn time. Not to mention this, not to mention this is not a good game to begin with. I admit though, the sprite for indie looks pretty good, and the music in the opening sequence is pretty nice. But this is not a good movie adaptation. Then again, how many good movie adaptions have there been? Ever. I can only think of one. Uh, uh, actually, two, and that's the first two Spider-Man games based off the movie. Now let's see if I can take care of those guys this time. Or not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna risk this again. Here's a place where you're supposed to use the whip to get out. But I can't get out. It's a wonder to me that anybody was able to complete this game. With its awful controls and terrible gameplay, this is easily one of the worst games released during 1982. Which is not, which was not a good year for films, for movies, or at least games based off of movies. That's all for this list, folks. Stay tuned for the next list for another list of the most ter of the, the worst games on the Atari 2600. And that list will cover. Numbers 15 to 11. Enjoy! Or not, depending on how awful the games are. Which they are awful.